Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a common engine trouble code, the P0106, this code. Points to an issue with your car's map sensor, that's the manifold absolute pressure sensor. It can impact engine performance, fuel economy, and may even trigger the check engine light. But, don't worry, I'll walk you through how to diagnose and fix it yourself. The P0106 code indicates that there is an issue with the manifold. Absolute pressure map sensor. It could be caused by a faulty or dirty. Map sensor, wiring or connection issues, vacuum leaks, clogged or dirty air filters, or a failed PCM or ECM. Defective map, borrow sensor, electrical fault open, short, or high resistance in the circuit. Vacuum leaks, defect in the exhaust gas recirculation EGR system. PCM issues, such as software in need of an update. Check engine light illuminated, hesitation upon acceleration and generally poor idling and running. Backfire due to the map sensor and throttle position sensor not operating. Together, increased fuel consumption. First, grab an OBD scanner to confirm the PO106 code. If you don't have one, you can pick one up or visit an auto parts store most will. Scan your car for free. The map sensor is typically located on the intake manifold, either next to or on the throttle body itself. First carefully remove the map sensor from the engine. Inspect the map sensor for any damages. If the damages are found then replace the map sensor. When you install a new map sensor, check to make sure the new ring is in place and not damaged. Once you've replaced or reconnected the sensor, it's time to clear the P0106 code using your OBD to scanner. After clearing the code, start your engine and take the car for a test drive to ensure the code doesn't return. If everything's good, congratulations you fixed the issue. And that's how you diagnose and fix a P0106 code. Remember, if the code comes back, it might indicate a deeper issue with your intake system or ECM, and you may need to consult a professional. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more DIY automotive tips. Catch you in the next video.